All right, good morning, guys. Back at it with another MLB DFS video. Just me today, fun has some stuff going on. Um, it was an interesting slate yesterday. We looked kind of dead just because of the Cardinals not being able to do anything. Pablo Lopez got there, got us 49, six innings pitch, seven Ks, got the win. McMahon and Tovar got there with 38.1 against the White Sox, just absolutely killed them. Um, Charlie Blackman, one for three, two runs, one RBI, two walks. Nolan Jones, one for four, two RBIs, a run and a walk. If anyone from the Cardinals did anything, we would have been a lot better, but I mean, 2x, better than nothing. So let's just jump right into today's slate because I can just complain all day about the Cardinals. So right now for the top pitching tool, Framber Valdez, Tanner Bibby, Sonny Gray, Logan Gilbert, Kodai Sango, Logan Webb. Pretty much just listed the guys that I think are in contention. Uh, this is everyone's a bit of a condensed slate, so it's a little bit easier, I guess. You can get a little different, but you're not going to be super different. So with that being said, so right now, Framber Valdez, 11-1, strikeout, upside, against Seattle at 23% is very interesting. Tanner Bibby, I liked, and then I saw that he's getting 28% ownership, and I really don't like that, just the ownership. You know, 9-8 against Detroit is there. The ownership is there. But Sonny Gray, $400 cheaper for um, for him. So Sonny Gray, 9400 against Pittsburgh. And 12% is very intriguing. I got a feeling that might go up a little bit later on. Logan Gilbert, I don't want to challenge against Houston just because they got a lot of power over there. Stenga at 10-9. We probably won't play him, but he's not a bad option just facing a St. Louis team that is complete garbage. Logan Webb, not going to play against the Atlanta Braves because he's they're the Atlanta Braves. If I, if I had to rank them, I probably would go Sonny Gray, Framber Valdez, Tanner Bibby, and then Logan Gilbert. Framber Valdez, that price tag is just bad just because recently he hasn't been that great. Um, this can potentially be a bounce back game for him. That's kind of my only, you know, kind of like I just said too, Seattle strikes out a lot. Um Knock on wood, it should be a good win for Houston. But that's the only explanation to why I think he's a good play. Just his numbers recently haven't been that great. But, yeah, right now I think Sonny Gray is the best pitching play of the day. So moving on to top stacks, right now we've got the White Sox, the Rockies, uh, Orioles, San Fran, Atlanta, Minnesota, Mets, Cleveland. Here's everybody. I'm not going to read all of them, even though it's a bit of a condensed slate. Um, so with that being said, you know, at Coors, we have the White Sox and the Rockies. The White Sox got demolished yesterday. Jesse Schultz is on the mound. Kyle Freeland on the other side. The game set doesn't look too bad. But any time anyone plays at Coors, um, that is not the Colorado Rockies, they usually see a little increased price tag just because, you know, in Coors, the ball travels farther. So take that into consideration there. Um, up with that, Baltimore against Walden Chuck is good, you know. Kind of a crap stadium in Oakland, but I mean, it's Baltimore. San Fran looks a little interesting against Chirinos. He limits damage, but he just gives up some, you know, bloop singles. He doesn't really you – know, he'll give up some hits. But he doesn't strike out a lot of guys. He can kind of go deep in the games. The issue that we always have with San Francisco, and it's not just us, it's just their coaching staff in general, they like to pinch hit a lot. So if you have a guy that's not doing good or it's a close game at the end of the game – and your guy's up to bat, there's probably a good chance he gets pinch hit. The Atlanta Braves, they're the Atlanta Braves. They always look good. Minnesota looks good. Um, Mitch Keller, you know, he had that crazy start to the year where 
he was just on a whole different level. He's come down to earth a little bit. So Minnesota looks good here. They're usually pretty cheap as well. Um, the Mets against Nicholas, they they look a little interesting. The Mets and the Cardinals have always like screwed us over, and it's only fitting that they're actually playing each other. Example yesterday where we had Edmund Walker, Contreras. So, I mean, against Nicholas, who hasn't been that good this year, the one interesting thing about the Mets, they're only getting a 4% ownership share. So, you know, Lindor, Vogelbeck, Nimmo, McNeil, those guys look interesting. Um, you know, you got the Rockies getting a 20% ownership share, the White Sox 19%. So I would even consider playing Cleveland and maybe getting a one-off of Houston. Logan Gilbert's been pretty decent this year. He had like that stretch in the middle of the season where he wasn't like sometime in the first half of the season where he was just barely getting by and not getting many strikeouts. I think Houston can kind of hit him around a little bit and get some hits for some runs. I would even go as far to say get some Cleveland against Matt Manning. They're pretty cheap as well. No, Jose Ramirez, he's serving the suspension to my knowledge still, I think he is. I wouldn't go anything past that. Um, you can get a little different. It's a bit of a condensed slate. There's definitely some good spots to go to. So don't just focus on a game stack. I mean, you could if you want, but look around, check out price tags of other players and stuff and just kind of go from there. Focus on Colorado over the White Sox. Then check out Baltimore, Atlanta, Minnesota, uh, the New York Mets, Guardians, and Houston. Just play around a little bit and see what you like, see what you don't like. Recording, I texted Funk and asked him to send over some home run calls. So he's got Raphael Devers, Mookie Buds, and Manny Machado. And then my home run calls for today are going to be Luis Roberts, Matt Walmer, and Freddie Freeman. So I just used a line of generator, did the normal thing that we do. We don't lock anybody. We do a 4-3-1 balance. So this is what it's got right now, 80% White Sox, 75% Colorado, and just very little bit of Minnesota, Baltimore, Cleveland. I get that. If you play cash games, this is what you want to see. So, you know, the top three teams here, more so these top two, because of that cores, that's your cash game lineups that you should try to build a round of, and then maybe have a couple bats over here, not really too much about stacking. But this is that there. Um, just scrolling through. Um, yeah, we're getting a little bit of Cleveland here. Tanner Baby at 50% is our top pitcher. I get that. It's just a 28%. I don't like. I'd rather pay a little bit less and get, um, what's his name? Sonny Gray. I'd rather get $400 less. Only getting 15% of him, but that's not terrible. Some of the price tags for the White Sox, you know, you got Yaz, 2 8s, Colas, 2 8s, Ben and Tendi, 3 1. Robert went down 100 bucks from yesterday. So there's definitely some good price tags. I think that's why the White Sox are getting a lot of love. So that's pretty interesting. You know, you got McMahon three seven, Rogers two eight. So definitely some affordable tags there. So if you want to get started on lineup generator, I'll put this in the link in the description. But you can save up to. Oh, I don't know what that was. You can save up to twenty lineups over here. I don't know. Yeah, there's 20 lineups here. You can clear them and restart, or you can just upload them straight to FanDuel or DraftKings, whatever you use. It's definitely a good tool to get your mind thinking on where to go and where not to go. So definitely worth trying out. So that should just about do it for today. Um, if you're not tailing our lineup, just, just know today is a decent slate to kind of just be a little different. Not too different, but you can definitely get to some spots and have some positive leverage. Um, I would say about 10, 15 minutes before uh, the lock at 6, 10, 7, 10 Eastern will drop a lineup and just make sure to like and subscribe.